Hello, users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the show where I like to trigger conservative snowflakes. And I know that this one is going to really, really make them upset. So, when Kyle Rittenhouse killed protesters in Kenosha, did Trump talk about it? When a black man gets killed by police in a viral video... Does Trump talk about it? The answer is no, on all counts. However, when a neo-Nazi gets killed at a protest, all of a sudden, it's a big deal. Think about that. So, we have the President of the United States tweeting out, Rest in peace, Jay. Jay Bishop is a white supremacist and a neo-Nazi. He was a member of a group called Patriot prayer, which I mentioned in the previous video before his name was revealed. And I want to show this video to you of Jay Bishop defending a white supremacist neo-Nazi who attacked Muslims on the uh, train in Portland just a few years ago. So I'm going to read this story. White supremacist guilty of killing two who came to aid black teens. The last time she rode the train was nearly three years ago, on May 26, 2017, when she was 17. She hadn't noticed Jeremy Christian on the train at first. This is talking about someone's story about uh, witnessing this. But he saw her and another black teenager, and for reasons she still cannot fathom, he began bellowing, Muslims should die and go back to Saudi Arabia and kill yourselves. A group of men intervened confronting Mr. Christian. There were heated words and shoving. Only when Miss Muhammad saw one of the men clutching at his neck with blood running through his fingers did she realize that Mr. Christian had a knife. We started running, Miss Muhammad testified last month in the murder trial of Mr. Christian, an avowed white supremacist. I thought he was going to come after us and kill us too. You can read more about this in the description. Now this is Jay Bishop's thoughts on a white supremacist murdering black people and Muslims and shouting that he wants to kill Muslims on a train in Portland three years ago. This is Jay Bishop. Three vigilante thugs get up on the public transit to assault a man because of his opinion and the words coming out of his mouth. Mm. And it's absolutely criminal. But all around Portland here, people are trying to act like these people are heroes, that they did something right, instead of going over to the person feeling victimized and saying, don't worry, we're here for you. They got in another man's face and assaulted him, of which he then rightfully defended himself. Three versus one is absolutely reason to use a knife. Keep in mind, this guy is a convicted white supremacist that Mr. J. Bishop is talking about. A convicted white supremacist, okay? But it's one of his buddies, so he's spinning it. And you're not allowed to assault people. You're not allowed to be a vigilante. Another thing is he's calling people assaulting vigilantes for utilizing their free speech to ask someone to shut up on a train. That's a vigilante? What? If someone says racist shit and you say, hey, shut up, loser, you're a vigilante all of a sudden? That's not what words mean, Mr. J. Bishop. It's illegal. Hmm. This person was illegally arrested for self-defense. And I'm, I'm here to tell all these socialists the truth of the matter, that we have rights in this country, and that's a good thing, and that these three people that died or were stabbed are not heroes. They're not anybody to be idolized. And they just What's really funny about this, and I'm going to rewind this and make you listen to it again, is that this guy, Jay Bishop, died because he wanted to mace someone, and that person brought out a gun and shot them. Now, do I agree with that? No, I don't. I don't agree that shooting someone in the chest is a good thing if they're just going to mace you, okay? I'm not a fan of that. However, what he is describing here is literally the exact way that this guy died because he decided to get in someone's face and assault them. So listen to this. That these three people that died or were stabbed are not heroes. They're not are anybody not to be heroes. idolized. And they deserve everything that they got from assaulting a man. 
Okay. That's what I'm here to talk about. They deserved everything that they got. And yet the President of the United States is tweeting out condolences for a neo-Nazi? Really makes you think. This is only going to make things much worse. I fear that things are going to get much more violent in the coming months. And Trump promoting and signal boosting neo-Nazis again and again and again certainly isn't going to help anything. So thank you for watching, everyone. I know that the conservatives are probably going to be triggered as hell. The conservatives are going to be triggered as hell. So let them get me. All views matter, baby. Thank you.